All right, I wanted to throw this theory by. I heard it a couple years ago. That was it's very interesting and rings true to me. But who knows? See what you think. And I gotta spoil the ending of this movie, Save the Green Planet, to make a point. Sorry, but it's gotta be done. Anyway, so this movie is about. Uh, this guy believes that the world is on the verge of an alien invasion and sets out to save the world. And it's kind of like They Live, where there is this other race of beings living among us. They're really aliens, but they look like humans, and nobody can tell. So this guy goes around and captures and, and, and takes uh, these aliens masquerading as humans hostage. He shaves their head and tortures them until they admit that they're aliens, and then he kills them. So you spend basically the majority of the movie trying to figure out if the dude's really nuts, or if he really is you know, capturing aliens. So um, the one he captures is not just a regular alien. It happens to be like this big head honcho alien. And so he finally tortures him enough to where he spills the beans. And a lot of the information this alien gives up corroborates a whole lot of research that I've done on this channel. So there's a lot of truth in this movie if you ask me. So anyway, this uh, alien breaks free. He gets saved by his alien buddies and sucked up to his alien sh uh, spaceship. And he gets up there, and his, his buddies are all surrounding him, and they're all happy he's back. And the guy gets mad, and he starts grabbing and beating on one of them, actually. And so the guy, he's tell, he tells the guy, he says, I know you guys saw me down there getting tortured for so long. Like, why didn't anyone come and help? And so the guy says, he said, because you told us that you would tell us that you would give us the signal, you would contact us when it was time to come get you. And so the guy points to his shaved head, and he says, how can I contact you? when my hair is gone. And I just thought that was funny because that's what I've heard is that your hair is kind of like your antennas. And in fact, that's why it's called a hair cut because it's cutting the connection. So, I mean, I don't know. It's very interesting. And that's not to say that you have to have long hair to contact and be in touch with your higher spirit or God or anything like that at all. I just think that every little bit helps and it just helps with the manipulation is all. Um, you know, I've heard this stuff starts at the bottom or the soles of your feet it goes up around your spinal cord and up through the top of your head and your hair. And I don't think it's just the hair on the top of your head. And there's got to be something to that because the majority of this reality is made of water. Our bodies are made of water. So those dirty pedophile popes don't go walking around washing kids and hopeless people's feet. with you know They wouldn't be doing that for no reason. There's something going on down there. And the water's a perfect conductor of this energy or whatever. So that really tells me there's something to this. And if you think about it with the with the uh, the military, right, that's the first thing they do is they chop your hair off. They don't want you getting anything except for what comes from them because then they do. They assume the role of God. That's what they do. And everyone is forced and it's mandatory to wear big, thick-ass boots. So you're cut off all, all kinds of – and then they inject you with all, all sorts of vaccines. I mean, it's nasty. Think about your police. Short hair, boots, all the same thing, yeah? And makeovers, even on the television shows, the first thing they do, they cut the hair and then tell them what they think they should look like. So, I don't know, it just kind of rings true to me. And I kind of wanted to see what everybody else thought. And just because we can't see it, you know, doesn't mean it really doesn't look like this, that we really aren't just kind of hooked up to some sort of machine. We just can't see the wires like this. Because if you think about it in the, the Matrix, right? I mean, when Neo woke up in the really real world, he was hooked up to a machine, and it was all down his spinal cord, and the dude was shaved completely bald. So, I don't know. Just wanted to see what you think. Thanks to my subscribers.